Hey everybody, just uh, thought I'd give another earnest report. A little update for uh, everybody that's, anybody that's paying attention to me. Um, let's see, it is Thursday, it is January 19th, and tomorrow is January 20th, the big inauguration day. And there's lots going on all over the place. Um, a lot of small cities out here in Fayetteville, they're having events, um, even in Little Rock, um, and of course in D.C. Uh, this weekend, however, uh, I decided to, I got invited to a sweat, so I am going to go help uh, with that tomorrow and prepare for that, help get it set up, um, get some wood ready. I uh, wanted to let everybody know... Uh, what I've been doing the last few days this week in particular so as you may know from reading or following me on Facebook pretty much on Martin Luther King Day there were four different lockdowns on fossil fuel infrastructure uh, one of those was the uh, Arkansas Rising Nonviolent Direct Action Group in Memphis at a Valero refinery and uh, pretty much every day since then there's been a nonviolent direct action and of course in Standing Rock they are still getting hit with rubber bullets and pepper sprayed and tear gassed um, and there was a lockdown this morning in Texas so I'm trying to keep tabs on the Picos pipeline in Texas the Bayou Bridge pipeline in Louisiana the uh, Diamond Pipeline here in Arkansas, Oklahoma to Memphis, Tennessee, and of course uh, even the Sabal Trail Pipeline in Florida, uh, which is 83% complete by the way, so they're asking for support and folks to come down there and help them out. Um, a question I have for everybody that may be interested or that has contributed in particular to my GoFundMe campaign is the possibility I'd like to know what everybody thinks about me possibly going down to Florida um, be a great opportunity to learn how their camps are set up and maybe bring some of that knowledge back to uh, Gadotti camp and the camp that's uh, will soon pop up in Oklahoma somewhere I'm sure um, and so while most of the diamond pipeline uh, is has been like leveled out and they're starting to lay pipe uh, the drilling is just outside just west of Memphis uh, not yet to Little Rock um, and so that's a possibility uh, I'm definitely going to be staying in this area for a little bit longer. I'm going to try to go to Oklahoma and reach out to some people out there. And um, yeah, so kind of just feeling that out and uh, pondering those things. Would love your feedback. I still have an offer to uh, do some uh, group work in North Carolina in March or probably April. And um, so that's kind of how my future plans are shaping out. <laughs> a lot of unknowns, but a lot of good people uh, that I've met so far. And a lot of great things to be a part of out here. So with that, I just wanted to show you some of the orchard trees that I've been pruning. Um, let me get this flipped around. I guess not flipped around. But, woo! Okay, it's they're actually behind me. Um, so these are some of the orchard trees. Let's see. Boom. Bright in the sun. I don't know if you can see that. And then Dagan built an awesome grape arbor using some black locust posts. Check that out. And behind me, which you probably can't see, but I did some of these here. Um, so, thanks for listening to me ramble. Uh, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Otherwise, have a good day, and we'll see you at the next artist report. Take care. Bye.